What's up Overlanders? In this video I'm showing you how to change the oil in your 4th gen 4Runner. So what you're going to need is some oil. It's uh, 5.5 quarts. Um, so you get a 5 and a, and a 1. You need some latex gloves, your filter, some paper towels, and uh, an official uh, uh, oil tank thing for used oil. Um, a lot of shops won't let you dump your oil with one of these. So, um, oh, and a 14 millimeter uh, ratchet. So, um, let's get underneath. This is a fairly simple task. When I'm at the shop, I like to jack the vehicle up, but when I'm at home, I just go up on a curb and that gives me a little extra space for uh, getting underneath and accessing everything. Going underneath here on the front end, have your oil pan ready. And right, so you've got your first little piece of skid plate. There's your second one. And there's a hole right here. If you look up, if you look up in that hole, you'll see your drain plug for your oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and loosen that. Okay, and once you break it loose, once I break it loose is when I usually put the gloves on and get the pan ready because now it's, uh, for the most part, finger, you can loosen it with your finger. Um, and uh, right towards the end when you get ready to pull it out is when the oil's gonna start to come. So, um, I'm gonna go get that ready. That's why we put the gloves on. So, we're gonna let that drain, and then we're gonna get up under the engine bay and get the, uh, the oil filter out so we can change that. So this is your oil filter right here. Um, what I like to do, because these things will, will leak some oil out, I'll stuff a paper towel down to try and help catch some of that when you unscrew it. So I have your other one ready. I always put the old one back in the box. And then unscrew this. Sometimes they're a little bit tough. Yep, and it's a good thing we have that paper towel there to help soak up some of that oil. Go. Get your new filter back on. And I say spin it until it stops and then go another half turn. That way we don't make it too tight. All right, now let's go back to the bottom and get that drain plug back in. All right, so we're back underneath. And get your paper towel ready. Wipe up anywhere that might still drip. Um, I'm getting ready to put the drain plug back in. So I'm going to just give it a quick wipe where it's dripping. Put the plug back in. And just finger tight is all you need to really keep it from dripping too much more. And then give it a good wipe down. No extra oil, want to keep things clean. And it's looking pretty good. Now we can push our oil pan out of the way. Take this off. And we can tighten this back up. It's always good to look up torque spec, but with this, I pretty much always um, just go tight. I, I try not to kill it, but... Just a good cinch. So I know it's not coming out. Yeah, that's good like that. 
and uh, now let's go fill her back up. Now filling the oil back up is a hundred times easier when you have a funnel, but um, we're just gonna have to be careful because I'm not at the shop right now and I don't have a funnel on me. I guess I should probably get one. So pretty much just be careful. Now I'm gonna check the uh, dipstick. That was only five quarts and we're supposed to have five and a half, but I always check the dipstick anyway. Make sure uh, we're at a good spot. Wipe it off. Dip it back in. We're just a tiny bit low, so we're gonna go ahead and put the um, other half a quart in here. And once we're done with this, some people like to turn the engine over and let it run for a couple minutes to see where we're at. Um, but that's just something to do. I'm not doing that in this video. Now we're just gonna go make sure we get everything nice and cleaned up. Um, make sure there's no oil dripped anywhere that's gonna run off when it rains. See you in a second. And the last step is actually to reset the maintenance light here. So go ahead and turn your ignition off. And what you're gonna do is hold down your odometer, your trip odometer button. Um, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Just hold it down, switch it to on. And that will reset your maintenance light. Okay, that's it. All you gotta do now is run your engine for a couple minutes, check your oil levels again, and then take your dirty oil over to AutoZone or O'Reilly, your local shop, and uh, dump it out. Make sure you keep everything clean. Don't wanna pollute the environment. Um, I guess that's all. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and stay tuned for the next one.